Hey everyone, this is Wei and welcome back. Let's do some more perspective drawings and this time I'll show you how to do a circle in perspective. So let's get started and I'll talk about the process along the way. All right, so let's draw a circle in perspective. Um, it's kind of like drawing like a tire or a wheel in, in perspective. So in order to draw any kind of circles in perspective, we always have to kind of start out with the, uh, with the square. So I'm gonna draw a, uh, and I'll, sh I'll go over like a couple of methods of doing this. And this, the first method is gonna be a little bit more precise. It's a little bit more tedious. Um, the second method will be a little bit easier, but not as accurate. So <laughs> there's always a trade-off, right? All right, so let's say this is the top view. And the reason I'm doing the top view because I kind of want to show you how to divide up the, the space in order to get the, uh, the circle. Okay, so let's say this is a square and I know it might be a little bit off. So first thing we need to do is we need to divide it up, kind of go corner to corner. And what this does is this will give us the midpoint, okay, the, the center of the, um, of the of this square. So I'm gonna draw a line here. So these are just, per, uh, this one is parallel, right, to these and then these are all parallel to the side as well. Yeah, I know this is a little bit squashed, not necessarily a square, so. All right, so once we have this, right, we have, now we have these corners right here. So we know th the circle is gonna be in here. So we know this is gonna be where it touches the uh, outside of this box. So in order to do the curve here, like how do I do this curve? There's a real simple method and it might be a little bit tedious, but we basically have to divide each square up into, um, we need to put up two more sections. So we're gonna to try to divide it up evenly. So it's one. And I'm just, I know I'm just kind of eyeballing it, but I just kind of want to show you the process of doing it. Uh, doesn't necessarily have to be that all that accurate. So I divide up into two and I'm gonna do this side as well. So let's say it's gonna be somewhere right here. It'll be, it'll be a lot faster when you guys are actually doing this because it doesn't necessarily need to be this accurate. I know this is all not, not, not all that accurate as well. So, all right, once we divided this up, right? So we have the, the center here. So the curve where it goes through uh, these grids is basically, and it's always the same pattern. So it's gonna go from right here Right, so I hope you guys can see this, yeah. So it's, it's a little bit off, you know, almost like all the way to the edge here, right, in this one. And then the, the two other points here, it's not right where the, um, uh, where it intersects, but it's a little bit on the outside of that. So just to, do two points right there. And then this point right here will be the same as that, okay? And then we're gonna go, repeat this for all these other grids. So here, so one, two, one, so it's, one, almost to the edge, and then two, right? Right above the, uh, the intersection, and then one. So one more, so we're gonna go one, two, three, all right? So once you have all this point, that's where the curve is gonna enter. So we just gonna connect this, and that'll give us a nice, um, well, nice oval, I guess, because of my, my, my grid wasn't, um, wasn't a square to begin with, so this is not gonna be a perfect circle, obviously. So I'm just gonna connect that. So at this point, just kind of, very easy, right? Just connect the dots. <laughs> All right. Okay, so you can see how, you know, that's it's just basically connecting the dots once we get that and then you have a nice, um, so it's a little bit squashed. You know, I, uh, this should be a little bit taller than we were. We would have had a much nicer circle. So that's the key, right? So in order to do this quickly, okay, uh, I squashed it again. Find a center by doing an X and where it intersect, that's the center. So we're gonna do an X, here's these points, and then we're gonna divide up, okay, these spaces. And then it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now obviously this is gonna be pretty warped. Okay. But I just wanna show you. So this is the top view, right? Let's say, you know, now we gotta put it in perspective. That's the whole point of this exercise. 
uh, let's just make a, well, let's just do it this way. Uh, let's go with a two point perspective, okay? And you can check out my other perspective on how you can do these kind of things. Okay, so two point perspective, this is gonna be the top of the, well, let's say this. Yeah, so this will be the top. Let's say we have a box like this. Just so I can visualize it a little bit better. Okay, so these are vertical. And then all these lines, these uh, perspective lines are gonna meet up to one point and then the, all these lines are gonna meet up to another point. So that's why it's a two point perspective. All right, but all we want is this little box right here. So let's say we wanna make this into like a, almost like a tire, you know, sitting on the floor. So here we go, connecting points. We need to get the center, center point of this, all right? From corner to corner, here's the center. And now we gotta follow kind of roughly the perspective lines. And I'm just kind of eyeballing everything, okay? Because I don't necessarily want to be all that exact, but I just kind of want to show you the process. So here, that's the outbounding box where it meets the, the edge of the box, right? So now we're going to divide this space up into thirds. So this, you know, might be a little bit tricky, but just put little guidelines right along the edge and then you can just kind of follow the perspective. And this is two point perspective. I mean, if you want to make it easier, you can do one point, but just let me show you the, I guess the more complicated ones first. All right, so now that's all divided up. Here's the center line again, just so I know where, where we are. So again, one here, one point, two, and then three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Hmm, I started the numbers wrong. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four. All right, so now we just kind of connect these dots. and kind of just give it like a, you know, very clean curvature from dot to dot, if you're able to. Um, you see how I gotta move my body around just in order to get a clean curvature with my wrist. So it looks like it's a little bit off on the top here. Just looks a little bit weird, right? But, you know, sometimes, um, cylinders and I mean circles in perspective it it does appear warped so yeah so this part needs to go a little bit higher so it kind of all depends on you know how well you do these grid lines right obviously if these grid, line, grid lines are off it's gonna be off so basically that's that's how it works um, so let's say we want to extend this let's say we want to make it into like a tire right so I'm gonna extend this out to, to the box so let's give it some volume. So now extend this, this is all vertical. So now we know this is the edge right here, okay? So once we know this edge right here, we can, let's say this, extend the sides down here. And then now what we're gonna do is just kind of copy. We, we, you know, we're not gonna do the uh, dividing up again, right? Because we just need to copy this curvature down here. So I'm just gonna try to copy this curvature. kind of eyeballing. Okay, so. Not all that close, but uh, it's okay. So now we have a nice cylinder, okay? So yeah, it's okay. It's a little warped. So that's, that's the process of drawing, you know, like a, like a car tire or whatever, like a wheel. All right, so that this is the more complicated way of trying a, um, a circle in perspective, but it's much more accurate. Now, let me show you the easier way of doing it. And it's a little bit, see, it's a little bit easier, but then, you know, again, the trade-off is, is that it's not as accurate. So we're gonna start with the same thing. Let's, let's just do the top view. All right, so this one's gonna be a little bit even rougher. All right, top view, we still have to get the center point, okay? So we're gonna cross it, get the center point here, 
I keep making the squares wider. <laughs> it's a habit. All right, so we're gonna cross here. Now we have these points here, right? The outside point. And then from here, we're gonna connect these points here. So it's almost kind of like a, a square within a square, right? So now we have this other square, kind of like, it's kind of like a diamond shape, right? So the curvature is basically, you know, using this as a guideline, the curvature is gonna be like this. So you kind of have to remember this kind of shape right here. So curvature, again, it, that's why it won't be as accurate because you kind of, everything is kind of eyeballing. All right, so you kind of have to remember this shape right here. This little, you know, kind of like a, I guess you can, like a slice of watermelon or, you know, this kind of, this kind of shape. So you can remember this kind of shape. That's how you need to get that. So if I were to do this in perspective, uh, let's just say, again, two point perspective again. All right, so let's see. Two point perspective. That's a little bit better, okay. So this would be the top. I'm gonna cross it, center. Okay, I'm gonna get the, outside point, so here, 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 here. Box, connect those. Okay, and then now we gotta remember that shape, see? So this is gonna be a little bit squash, right? Right here, it's gonna be a little bit longer. This is a little bit squash, probably at least be a little bit more, even more squash. So that's kind of bad right there. Here, not a squash, right? Okay, so again, just this shape here being squash and this is being elongated. This is squash, this is being elongated. And then that'll give you kind of a rough idea of kind of like the circle in perspective. So either way kind of works. Uh, you know, you can do it this way. It's a little bit faster, you know, if you're drawing cars or whatever, because you don't want to where you don't want to measure that that, that much, right? Um, you know, it's, it's just good to know. It's just good for you to double check things, you know, when you're drawing, but you don't necessarily have to use it. Again, it's just a lot of, st a lot of time, you know, freehand, this kind of stuff, actually. It's a little bit freer and, you know, you feel a little bit better about drawing. So it's not so technical. So that's it. And I uh, hope you guys like this. And if you do, please do give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time.